and I am here with two Maros. Shanty. Jeremy. And their last name is Morrow, so that's where we're calling this two Morrows. It's catchy, right? So we're just hanging out and and they are wanting to buy a houseboat. Oh, they have a houseboat, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, they have a houseboat. And tell tell me about that. So we talked about a houseboat, just kind of tossed it around, um, just a, a getaway. Um, and we just kind of loosely looked on Facebook and, um, you know, Craigslist. And one of the guys that works for us sent me a link to a houseboat on a trailer in very far eastern Ohio that you can get. So the trailer being one that we could use for the business, we decided to buy it and we'd get a houseboat. So we set it up, go through DOT, get the permits, pilot cars, go down, pick this thing up on the trailer. It's almost 14 foot tall. You did this yourself, right? Yes. And it's you hauled it. Foot. Right. Did it all ourselves with our semi, got awesome. all the permits. So we go down, get this thing. It's a 16 hour day, bring it home, park it, and here we are. It's been too hot to work on it. We it's don't not on the any, lake yet, it's though. Not on the lake we have yet. our pontoon, so it's a yes. good thing we can actually get out here. Yeah. Right. We're hoping to add them to our dock because they would be a dock awesome bears. addition to our dock. They'd be a lot of fun. So. so as we were in the water, we haven't ever picked a boat name, and we were talking about the podcast today and what we were going to talk about, and then... I just like, oh my gosh, because every time I somebody asks me how you spell your last name, I'm like, tomorrow without the T-O. <clears throat> and so when we was down there, I was like, tomorrow, like, and then tomorrow, I was like, oh yeah, that's a perfect boat yeah, name. Like so after, after, having a, yeah, after having a pontoon boat for three years with no name, <laughs> we've now figured out what the name of our boat that's will be. That's so cool. Like in the last five minutes, we've figured out what, well, they, yeah, they've come together and figured out their name. Right. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> What are you going to do with your houseboat? Enjoy it. Yeah. Just enjoy it. That's go park out in the middle of the cove and throw an anchor out and just be alone. There's nothing better than what this pandemic has brought to us because we spend so much time together and totally enjoy it. And we were just like, screw it, let's buy a houseboat. Yeah. Just like acting like little kids. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like we're always acting like kids and it's amazing. Yeah. Boating is amazing. Oh, Absolutely. it is. Yeah. Once you start, it's an addiction. Oh, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's depressing when it's too cold to be out here. Yeah. Middle, mm -hmm. middle of December, you know, into January, February, okay. we're going, to, oh my God. It's a long, long yeah. Indiana winter. <laughs> Can we get on the boat, please? <laughs> I know. Yes. And yeah. then the first time we come out, we have like sweatshirts on, dipping our toes in the water real quick because it's like ice right. cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you're on the boat at that point. You're on the boat. You're on the boat as much as you can. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. Until October. And this is some of the as best family can. time that we can get with our kids, too. Yeah. Although we love our adult weekends, we love more when we're kids are able to be with us. Yeah. yeah. And that the, the freedom of a houseboat is nice because you can spend multiple days. Mm-hmm. So. Instead of going home every night, especially having to sober up before you go yeah. home. Yeah. Pull, pull the boat home. So. So do you think you'll stay like for days, weeks, once you get your houseboat done? What do you we'll want to stay do? as long as we can. Yeah, I mean, if we if we I only if live we can, twenty minutes away. If we can figure out how to work from the boat, we'll just stay out on the boat for oh, yeah. some time. Especially in the middle of the summer, it's older our kids get. That's what we're all striving for. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Living Absolutely. on a boat. Absolutely. Would you live on a boat if Absolutely. you could? One hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we want to do when we travel. Where do you want to travel? Everywhere. Like national parks, like just go out, go out west, go east, north, south. We'd love so to like go. So like on land. Yeah, we'd love to do that and then take a boat and do, you know, the, like you guys have talked, just mm -hmm. everywhere that you can go. Like why not? You know, you can't go, you can't die with money. Right. And you should well, be raising the, like your kids Chasing enough. Bubbles, the documentary. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How yes. can you not want to do that? Yeah. yeah. It's such, such an, an adventure. It's mm -hmm. inspiration too. Yeah. Well, you know, there's there's two or three boats on the dock that want to that want to do the Great Loop. Yeah. Around and how cool would that be though? To it'd do be that with nice your to have 
company. Yeah. You know, like boats break down. Boats have the, things happen, and you can you can tow each other. And then you're not alone right. when you got friends within miles mm-hmm. from you. And you don't know too if you get out in the middle of somewhere and pirates like you yeah, can oh, help yeah. defend you each other. Yeah, yeah. Because I've seen that down in the Caribbean mm-hmm. where that's that and over yeah. by um, Djibouti. Where's that? Africa. Africa, like We're, West Africa. We probably don't want to go there. No. You probably like, won't even like get that far. <laughs> there's like warning, like you don't go. Oh, well, I've heard Nicaragua's bad. Is it? Yeah. And I want to go through the Panama Canal because that's where my parent, my mom's from. <gasps> oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd be cool. So, what are your plans then to fix up your boat? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna whitewash it all, and um, I want the like white, white, not just like an ivory. Outside or inside? On the outside. And okay. probably like black and red maybe or something. Just something cool. Yeah. And then the inside, the, we're going to have like a bedroom, a little kitchenette area. Do up the bathroom. And then up top there will be like fold out beds. Like on the, um, like up in this area. Mm-hmm. Fold the beds out at night so more people can stay. Yeah. And then um, there's another top part. And I want to put loungers up there so people can just chill up on the sun like a perch. So what do your kids think about it? Are they into uh, it? Yeah, oh, yeah, one of our kids, Jeremy's been paying him to clean it. Oh, so. nice. Yeah, they, especially the younger ones, you know, the older ones are at the point in their life where they're out chasing friends and running around, you know, so we can get them out here a little bit, but the, the young ones love it. And they oh, love, they bringing love bringing their friends. Their friends and mm-hmm. It's just, it, it sucks, though, that at this point is when we're getting our boats and we have older kids that, you know, they're... They got their own lives, like right now. They Make sure she could have done it sooner in life when they were younger. Yeah, but, you know, we're glad, like, some of our kids can enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Well, and when you've got young kids, it's harder to do that kind of thing, you know. Well, yeah, when you've got young kids, you're well, just you have, broke, too. You're just, yeah, you're right. just getting by, right. you know, at that point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and, like, right now, we just have two kids that basically, like, are 100% dependent on us. The other kids are have jobs, pay for their you know, basic necessities and mm-hmm. their cars and all that, so yeah. makes it easy to do more stuff like this. Yeah. So tell everybody, how many kids you have together? Yeah. You guys? We have five. Five kids. Five yeah. kids. Yeah. Mixed That's family. Awesome. Yeah. He's got his two and I've got my two. Well, I have the youngest. He has the two oldest and then our middle is um, actually my niece. She's my daughter, but she's my niece. And we've That's adopted amazing. her as well. We adopted her together. So we always tease that. That's so cool. His, his hers, and then ours. Ours, you have, yeah, right. your adopted daughter together. Uh-huh. That's so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Like well, she's, she's lucky to have you guys. <laughs> she's a joy. They're all, they're all, it's just cool to watch your kids, especially with having so many, and how different each and every one develop their own personalities based on people they surround themselves with. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's important because it's important in life to surround yourselves with good people. Mm-hmm. For sure, yeah. And if one hangs out with one bad apple, like, you can start seeing it. So, yeah. it's cool to see that as a parent. Yeah. 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 And that's the thing. Like, being out on the dock, you're surrounded by such good people. Like, we're fortunate. The people on our dock are just awesome. Like, right. just to be around them and everyone is so it's like a family there right. and everybody's just working together and it's cold. and everybody's so awesome and well, yeah and you were saying you guys watched a movie on the yeah dog yeah we had our like this weekend we've started a new trend we two nights in a row now we've done uh we projected a movie up on a a, a white sheet <laughs> and and the whole dot comes together and we just like hang out and watch an old movie together right. it's so much fun and, yeah. and to do that with you know good people and, and the friends. cool thing is is like so we knew you guys 
and through you guys we've met these people and then th when now that we're friends with these people we've met their friends yeah and so it's just like this big circle it's that just keeps growing big community yes. yeah yeah and there's some that have kids our age yeah and some that don't have kids yeah and so like everybody just like and then you your kids actually have somebody that they can like talk to and, and hang say out they're with going to their friend at the lake yeah, or whatever yeah. yeah so they're not just like isolated and have to like hang out with those adults that sit around and drink all day right. <laughs> right. so they can actually have kids that they can hang out with and and know I each don't weekend think you're in the video. so get in here <laughs> get closer to yeah there we go get closer hey been, been bobbing out yeah. somebody back here talking yeah. we don't know who it is <laughs> So what's your th favorite thing about being out on the water? The peacefulness, especially like around this time, I'm not even sure what time it is, but around this time the sun starts going down a little bit, but not right at the trees, but not straight up in the sky, like the water's calm, there's not any lake, like boats on the lake, oh it's so awesome. People are winding down, right. we've been Chilling. drinking all day, yeah. people are like, like starting dinner. Yeah, and just starting to chill out a little bit mm -hmm. yeah it's fun there's nothing like it like we used to go wheeling all the time because we have like a jeep and that was always fun but you know we miss our friends that we do that with but it was just hot and Rest. sticky and dirty yeah, and like bugs are yeah. always on you and like mm -hmm. this is just so much more chill because the other one is so right. intense and like mm -hmm. high energy that you're like tense and you're exhausted by the time well, you get this done. is refreshing too if you get too hot you just jump in the water yeah way cheaper than a pool in my opinion yeah yeah and less well i, I almost may not said be less, less, maintenance. less maintenance but it's not it's not less it's not less maintenance no so so what kind of maintenance have you had to do like on your boat so far because that's well, ongoing <laughs> on this boat that we have now yeah sure um we're always Shoot. changing spark plugs. <laughs> yeah, we, we had to change spark plugs and. So every time I go to Walmart, I get like six to nine because yeah. it takes three and just. It's been good yeah. all year, but we had our employee put a water pump in it and give it a tune up and and get it running right. And other than that, it's been a really easy. You know, it can be trying at times when it won't fire up I and mean, you, you knew it just fired up the week before yeah right. but it right. I, i've always been able to get to the lake so yeah it's not been bad maintenance wise yeah now the houseboat may be a different story yeah because you got you've got a whole different world when you yeah you basically like, got a small house live, on the water yeah yeah and, yeah. Then and things like are always and wet out. and things are moving as we're rocking right now like things start coming loose yeah you'll start to like replace we've replaced three sinks sink faucets it's just really ongoing yeah it just happens yeah. i think we had an expiration date and it was this year <laughs> with our sinks <laughs> we're on three and i just noticed my sink in the bedroom is starting to leak so it's just it's 35 years old so it's I'll well, take it. Well, our houseboat's that much old. Ours is a 72. Yeah, so yours so is probably we, getting close to expiration dates we, yeah, <laughs> for we, a certain thing. We've got a lot to do. So you have that, probably have that nice polybutylene stuff in there. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, plumbing. Yeah. I, I learned just a few weeks ago like what polybutylene was. <laughs> I learned a lot about plumbing on this boat. Because... <laughs> You learn that they don't make, they haven't made polybutylene since 1995 because it sucks. And what is it? It's like it's their their plumbing that they used back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, early 90s, and then and it get becomes brittle. I'm I'm the plumber. He hates plumbing so much that I become he's, I'm his plumber. So you do all the plumbing? Yeah, not by choice. And I'm not good at it. I just get yeah. by. So how cold is too cold for you guys to come out on the boat? Um, never, because <laughs> we've been out here when it's like 12 degrees. Like but, stayed on the boat at the dock? Well, we've stayed on the boat when it's in the 20s and 30s uh -huh. with space heaters, because we've winterized it by that point. Right. But, Jack, say hi to everybody. Jack! He's, He's giving hi. kisses. <laughs> oh, our dogs are going to be mad. We've had to, we've had to do that. When we first put the boat in the water, it snowed. And it was like in March, so right. we actually stayed on the boat because it got real cold and unseasonably cold. 
and it had never been winterized, and we were just trying to make it to spring, mm -hmm. and we had to stay on the boat to keep it warm a few nights when it got below freezing. Yeah. So we've stayed on the boat when it's been the low 30s, upper 20s. Yeah. And oh, with space heaters, and, but yeah. We've stayed on it all winter long with um, space heaters, because we winterize all the heating and stuff. But, right. Um, we visit the boat almost once a week, even throughout the winter. <laughs> Maybe not stay overnight, but we see it every week. But you can if you wanted to. We can with space heaters. Yeah, we yeah bring a couple. Space well, we got heaters. there, boo. We use the. Bathroom. So what you do just bring a couple space heaters and then eat a sandwich and hang out on it and double check everything. Basically, yeah. I mean, we've got like basic electricity. We just have running water and right indoor plumbing. Over here at this cove and think about how you could push up against and tie up a you know tie a long rope to a tree over there and just stay yeah everybody you can do that with the house boat yeah not this boat <laughs> you put bang all the time wouldn't you we don't want to get up on a bank on this boat oh really yeah, yeah. it'd probably tip over wouldn't it because they're that far out of the water we have inboard motors that are underneath and yeah you can't right. get them close to the bank yeah we they're can't just, be getting into like three just feet of throw water an anchor out Oh and they yeah. just sit in the middle of a cove and That's it's dead so flat and calm awesome. and quiet. Do you guys ever do that? Sometimes, yeah. We've stayed out several times, just a couple times this year on this boat overnight. But he doesn't get any sleep because he's worried about the anchor dragging and if it's windy that night, he's so do tomorrow's. Yep. Too, too many to come because we're going to get a slip, positive yes. energy. Yep. And yeah. I'm hoping we don't even have yeah, to buy a boat. That'd just, be nice. I want to get just a slip. Yep. But if we have to buy another boat, we'll buy another boat. Quit. And then we pick the best boat and sell the shittiest boat. No. There you go. Yeah. I mean, you got several to choose from if you buy another boat. <laughs> yep. Right. Are we good? We're good. I, th I think that was a really okay. good first podcast. Yeah. We covered right. a lot of ground. Yes. All right. So that was tomorrow was their first podcast and hopefully um, the first of many more because that was fun. So, all right. See you guys later.